Hi card makers, this is Agnes and today let us talk something about the basics of card making. On um, how to make the card base and the paper used and all those stuffs related to the card base. So this is a three layer card as this contains one, two and three layers. This is a single layer card, a two layer card and a three layer card. Basically, a card can be classified into two types based on the open. So this is the note card which opens in this way and this is the top folding card. And this is a normal note card. Here I have done some other thing. This is the usual card, card size. That is cut from 11 into 8 and a half inch cardstock. And when we cut them and make a note card, we usually get a 5, this is 5 and a half, and this is 4 and a quarter inch card. So even this can be like the top folding and the other one. And this one I have cut from an A4 sheet. Because A4 size card stocks are easily available in many countries. And in countries like US and other places, we get the 11, and 11 into 8 and a half inch cards. So because I think that it is good to save paper, I just cut a A4 size and cut it into half. That is into an a5 size so when we open this this is an a5 and then i fold it and made into a card so i can get two note cards from one a4 size paper so this one is an a4 size paper and so when i cut into half in this way when i cut it i get an a5 size and then i can fold them so I can fold it and then bend. You can use a bone folder or whatever that is not not sharp but with a something that is plastic you can use and usually I use a cake knife so that it is easy. So now the card is ready and usually the card for the card base it is better when you use a 300 gsm card stock and and this is also not for the people from countries like us where they usually grade the paper in pounds so they will get an lb so you can see in the description below where i will be classifying the GSM and both in GSM and the pounds measurements and also for the card bases in for the 11 into 8 and a half inch size card stock and for the A4 so you can uh, note down in the description so have a look there similarly when I cut the A4 into half in this way and get an A4 size I get the normal note card and then when I cut in this way in this half then I can create the top and I mean top full note cards so it will be in this way so half in this way and if I cut in this way you can have the one which folds vertically now coming to the layers of the cards so now i will be talking about the a4 size cards and for the 11 into eight and a half inch cards you can look down in the description i just don't want to confuse so when i fold this it will be approximately 14.9 centimeters this way and 10.5 centimeters this way so for the second layer you can take use cardstock but i usually get the ordinary color papers 
so i take the ordinary color papers the printing papers for the second layer for this i give a 5 cm i mean 0.5 cm here and 0.5 cm here and on all the corners so this will be measuring 14 into 9.5 cm and for the topmost layer even this will be having a 0.5 cm space so this will be making a 13 centimeters and 8.5 centimeters so in this way we can add the layers so this will create a more beautiful look to our cards so when we make the single layer cards we can just stamp or just do quilling or whatever you you can on the top of the card with some sentiment either written or printed or stamped or whatever way you wish so this is a single layer card and then this is a two layer card so you have the base and then you have another layer above this is just simply stamped this is something which is very easily done so you can have any different uh, when you are making some bulk cards and you have really very little time you can just change the color of the top layer and then just use black ink to stamp our images it is really an easy way and the work is very easy so this will be a three layer card and so I have stuck both these layers first and for the top layer whenever we do quilling and stamping together it is always preferable to do your stamping first because if we stuck our quilling and then if you are going to stamp something like this maybe we won't get enough space and we can't place it in the way we want perfectly so it is always recommended to do your stamping first and then finally you can add the top layer or even otherwise if we if we do like this in a separate card initially so if we are going to go something wrong on the top layer we can just change the top of the card make another and then include here So now we can add our quilling part to it. So this is how I am going to fix it. Okay. And then when you stick this part, always make sure that the glue goes to the corner. But also don't put too much so that it comes out when we stick it. Be careful. See from the top whether you have enough space on all the sides and then put down so this is how a three layer card is made so remember for the base it is always good to have a 300 gsm cardstock so that it is thick enough and for the middle layer you can use cardstock or ordinary printing paper and for the top one maybe a cardstock like 140 to 165 gsm is also enough they are also easy when we cut them i mean while we, while we make die cuts hope you got the basic points on card making and 
we can see more videos in card making in future hope you like this thanks for watching